Hey there, Lickin' Riffers, how are you doing? Welcome back to yet another awesome guitar lesson right here on Lickin' Riff. And in this one, I wanna share something completely awesome. My own personal favorite guitar trick. Yep, my personal favorite, my absolute favorite finger style guitar trick. I call it the one finger chord change. The one finger chord change. Now, don't confuse it with the one finger jazz chords that I showed you in the one finger jazz chords lesson. That's a cool trick on its own. But my absolute favorite guitar trick, the finger style guitar trick, is the one finger chord change. And it's an exhilarating feeling when you find one. And I'm going to give you three or four examples of my own. Then you can go on a search for new ones. So um, let's start with B minor. Okay? If you play B minor and you just play it and you just arpeggiate it, then you let go of the bar, you let go of the first finger and you put it on three on the sixth ring, you get G major seven at 13, which is completely different from B minor. play the A bass in between. You can play B minor, B minor at 11 over A, which is the open E string and the open fifth string, okay, with the B minor chord still on. Okay, this is also a completely different chord. This is A, uh, well, we won't get into it because it's a long, okay, it's a long chord name, doesn't really matter, so we'll call it B minor at 11 over A. A, and the G major 7 at 13. Okay, and you can have fun with this for hours, actually. create a lot of atmosphere using just one finger okay just moving one finger from the B minor bar to three on the sixth ring to G and then you get G major 7 and 13 which is an amazingly beautiful chord the second change is actually even easier yeah you have E minor you play strings one two three and six then if you add uh, if you change the bass to C and just play three on the fifth string or eight on the sixth string, you get C major seven. So it's a completely different quality change by just changing one finger. Again, E minor to C major seven. They're completely different. A lot of music in one uh, in one note change. You can also play the B bass there in between. Uh, you can play two on the fifth string or seven on the sixth string. doing anything you're just moving one finger around it's amazing isn't it now uh, a more complex example would be something like this okay. uh, it's um, it's C9 now I'm not playing it as a minor or major chord um, on purpose. Okay, it's a C9 chord. And by changing one finger, you turn it into a G sharp minor add flat 
add sharp five, I think, um, chord. And if you play the A bass, then it's also a very long chord name, which we won't get into now. So the chord is 444 on strings two, three, and five. And you play it with the open E string. So it's zero, four, four. The bass change is four on the fifth string to four on the sixth string. And you can play the open A string as well. bass notes. You can add the E bass. You can add the B bass, but it's a very weak sound. Okay, so just stick to, to C sharp, G sharp, and A, and you'll get an endless chord loop. Now, another example, the last one, is something that actually a friend of mine discovered. Um, and it's a very, very cool transition. It's this. Well, listen closely. Okay, and guess what's going on here? It's, uh, it's a really interesting chord. And this one is D6 over F sharp. It's D6 over F sharp. And this is F sharp minor seven, the second chord. So you put two, two, and two on strings one, three, and six. So you get two, zero, two, zero, okay? You, including the D string this time. So it's two, zero, two, zero, and two on the sixth string. And then you take the finger off of the E string and put it on the B string on two. So you get zero, two, two, and the sixth string on two. You can also play the D string here. So, and you can create another transition by opening the E bass right before moving back to the D6 over F sharp. Played slowly, uh, it doesn't sound right because it's a lot of a lot of um, a lot of uh, a lot of bass notes. But you've heard that in context it works. So those are uh, a few examples of the one finger chord change, my absolute favorite uh, finger style guitar trick. You can't really do it with uh, strumming uh, unless uh, unless you're very very careful where you strum. But let's not get into it. Subscribe to the channel if uh, you haven't already. I don't see a reason why not. There are hundreds and hundreds of lessons here for free for you to discover. Check the playlists and I will see you in the next lesson. Bye for now. Thanks for watching. Enjoy.